Hi guys, it's Steffi from The Novelty Corner and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my review of Rogue by AJ Betts. I am part of the blog tour for this book hosted by the hashtag OzYA bloggers group as well as Pan Macmillan Australia. So thank you very much to Pan Macmillan for sending me not only a review copy of Rogue but also the first book in the Duology Hive. I was very grateful to be approved to read both books and to be participating in this blog tour. For those of you who are unfamiliar with this series, it is a Love Oswaye dystopian series and it is a really fun, easy to read duology and I absolutely adored going into it. It was not at all what I expected. I had not read much about it up until this point. That's my preferred way to go into books. And I was really, really pleasantly surprised by how much I enjoyed this. Sorry about my phone going off in the background. In Hive we meet our main character Haley, who is a beekeeper in sort of this community that we don't really know all that much about except that it's quite isolated, they're very insular and everyone in this community has roles and jobs assigned to them and very specific expectations placed upon them. Yet Haley is curious and she wants to know what's going on and she there are a few little things that happen that force her to begin investigating what is actually happening and what her world is actually about. There is a big cliffhanger at the end of Hive that leads us into Rogue. Being a blog tour for Rogue, I'm actually going to have a few spoilers, so just be aware of that going into this. I'm gonna read you the blurb. There is a spoiler about what is actually happening in Hive, so if you don't wanna know, just Skip this video and come back when you've read it. Haley has gone rogue. She's left everything she's ever known, her friends, her bees, her whole world, all because her curiosity was too big to fit within the walls of her underwater home, she was forced to flee. But what's in this new world she's come to? Has Haley finally found somewhere she can belong or will she have to keep running? Obviously at the end of the first book, she has escaped her home and she begins this book floating on the open ocean with no idea where she is or what the world holds. She really has very limited information about this new world that she's begun to explore. What was really awesome was that this book is entirely set in sort of Australian territory which was really nice because there's a lot of sci-fi and fantasy books written by Aussies but you don't often get the Australian landscape which I thought was really fantastic. So there's a lot of little islands, Tasmania and also the mainland so crossing Bass Strait up into Victoria which I really appreciated as an Australian. I can really relate to that and I can sort of picture it even though it's a futuristic dystopian world where things are not quite as they are here. It was very easy to picture what it could be based on my own background knowledge. Haley is also a really likeable main character. She is in a lot of ways very innocent. She is very curious. She doesn't understand as much as she would like to and so she goes out of her way to find out information and at first she stumbles across an island and then meets the people who actually live on this island and it's not always smooth sailing at first because Everyone is very wary of outsiders. No one really trusts anyone because of the way that this world has been built up. An interesting point on the world building is that you get a lot, you get some description of what things are, but not necessarily the reason why things are the way that they are. There's a little bit of, ex there's a little bit of an explanation, but I love books where the author lets you fill in the blank spaces and lets you create the world inside your own head because I think it's actually more immersive that way. And it's also more engaging. I don't, I'm not someone who likes a lot of nitty gritty detail because I find that that's too much information to hold but if you have enough detail and then you can fill in the spaces I love that and AJ Betts did that really really well. As I said at the start this is a really easy series to read. The writing style is very engaging. I love how we move across the different parts of Australia and you see how different things are. Tasmania has basically become this sort of not quite a penal colony but it's this sort of last outpost where people who no longer fit on the mainland or who can no longer go back there are and to cross between the mainland and Tasmania is a huge thing. There's a lot of elements of futuristic medicine and technology but none of it overwhelms this sense that something really bad has happened and that Haley is unique in this world and as such people you know really want to get answers from her about how she is the way she is. There is enough mystery and there is enough threat to Haley that you feel compelled to follow her journey and to see that she is safe and I very much appreciate that. I gave both Hive and Rogue four out of five stars. I really enjoyed the duology. I'm so glad that I read it. I hope that other people pick it up. I will leave some links down below where you can check out the other stops on this blog tour as well as where you can find copies of both books and links to the author's social media. In the comments below I would love for you to let me know if you have read this book or if you are planning on reading it in the future. Thank you very much to the OzYA bloggers group and to Pan Macmillan Australia for allowing me to participate in this blog tour. I hope that wherever you are in the world you're having a wonderful day and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.